my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be making a tutorial on these beautiful butterfly pattern and you can use it as a rubber band or you can put it even on hair bands or there are many things you can use it basically i wanted to make some rubber bands so i made this out of normal wool that we get in the market and this i made out of vardaman baby yarn so i really love this color combination you want you can make it in a solid color or even change colors or just one color so in this i used yellow orange yellow and this i use white and then pink and i made the body and the antenna with pink so i had some thread lying anchor thread so i thought i'll use that and i have this multi color thread line so i thought i'll go ahead and i'll start and so you need a pair of scissors and your hair tie your rubber band and a tapestry needle to weave in the ends so let's get started so to begin with you can either chain six and slip stitch to make a ring or you go with a magic circle so i prefer going with magic circle because the work looks very neat and I'm using a 3mm crochet hook. If you want, you can even always opt for a smaller size hook. But I like... Okay, so I'm using 1.90mm crochet hook. Not the 3 point. Because that is coming too big. So I'm using this. Once you make a magic circle, we're going to chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. I don't know why today what's wrong with my magic circle. It's just so stubborn at times. Seriously, it's just not coming today. I don't know why is it playing up so much now. Come on now. Enough. so once we are secure our magic ring i'm going to chain three so that's already secured to chain one this is, this is two and three and now we're going to make one double crochet in that magic ring so go ahead and make a magic uh, double <laughs> crochet and then once you make that i'm going to chain two and make two more double crochet so that's one and the second one now we're going to chain two and again make two double crochet so we sh we should have eight like this we should have a total of eight two double crochet sets and chain two and i'll meet you at the end so I slip stitched in this double crochet here. If you want to change the color, if you want to continue with the same color. So I'm going to go in this chain to space and make a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Make one double crochet. chain three one two three two double crochets again in that same chain two space so basically it's like making a shell in one chain two space after this we're going to chain one and in the next space again we're going to do two double crochets chain three two double crochet all in that same chain two space and once you make these two double crochets you're going to chain one so continue doing this and i'll meet you at the end okay so i'm done with my round and i have eight of these clusters so now what i'm going to do is i am going to add another color so that's the multi color thread 
so we'll make a slip stitch okay and add it in any chain one space we'll add it in any chain this is a long thread so i'm just cutting it over there now you add it in any chain one space so i'll add it in here you can either cut it like you can tie it or you can do it this way any way that you feel comfortable after this slip stitch we've done chain one and now we're going to make a single crochet now once you've done that hold your thread along your work so it gets hidden instead of you know weaving in and all it's better this is a much easier method so now in this chain three space we are going to make five double crochet so that's one two three four and five okay once you do that we're going to chain three one two three and again we're going to make five double crochet into that same chain three space so that's one two three four and five okay and pull this thread along neatly now in the chain one space we'll do a single crochet so let that go now because it's already hidden up nicely so now we'll go in the next chain one space and make a single crochet now hold this yarn together so it's hidden and make five double crochets one two three four and five chain three one two three and in the same space make five double crochets so one two three four and five okay if you want to leave the thread you can leave it or if you still want to hold it and work along that you can do down the next chain one space you do a single crochet so continue doing this in the next chain three space five double crochet chain three five double crochet in the same space and in the next chain one space we'll do a single crochet so once you finish make sure you have eight clusters like these in the end if not open your work go back and redo but you need to have eight clusters like these once you finish slip stitch and i'll meet you there so i finished my round and i made a slip stitch in the first single crochet and then you fold your work into half like this okay it may take a little time for you to you know, adjust it but try it will definitely come now in this single crochet here in the previous row where is it gone Oof. the single crochet we are going to do a slip stitch over there so go ahead and pull your yarn through and make a slip stitch okay so before that you make sure that you go ahead and cut off all these extra thread over here because we've already hidden it right and now work it's already hidden so it shouldn't be an issue so 
now once you have made that slip stitch you are going to go ahead and chain 14 for the body so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay so once you have chain 14 you want to turn it around the body like that around the butterfly and we'll do a slip stitch over these stitches here usually they do it on the chain but I prefer going between these two stitches here so it's more secure once you do that chain one and cut it and hide the ends okay make sure you hide the end now we'll make the antenna so for that you will need another yarn so i'm taking this thread which was left over from the body part the beginning so i'm going to go ahead and chain six so go ahead and chain six one two three four five six okay now you take this and in the mid chain anyway you do a slip stitch okay so usually I like to go in the this chain here in the middle and now we are going to do a slip stitch Oh god, I'm so sorry for that shouting. That's a neighbor shouting at his kid. So once you chain six, you chain six on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my thread is over. The last of it. So mm, just tighten it over there and like that. If you want okay pull it little down and then you cut off these ends so once i fasten off and weaved in all my ends i have this little pink thread still managed to have some so i'm taking it behind those two double crochet and I'm keeping it here and then I'll take both those rubber bands so you want two you want one I think one should be enough for it because it doesn't have much weight it's a light one so I'm going to just tie it okay so I'm going to tie it and then I'll either cut this or I will hide the ends it depends basically I just tie it off so ta da a little butterfly is ready only its antenna is a little anyways it looks cute so these are a really beautiful item to give to your daughter or your niece you know someone in the family of there's any birthday you can always make these and give it to them so i hope you liked my video let me know in the comment section how you liked it and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like and share till then bye take care and don't forget to mask up i'm amazing